There are three Easter's. Last time we talked about the Christian Easter. What about the pagan Easter? There were old pagan fertility rituals that happened in the spring. In Mesopotamia, it was worshipping of Ishtar or Yana. In Northern Europe, it was worshipping of Freya. In Rome, it was worshipping of Flora. Ancient Egyptians also offered salt shit fish and other foods to their gods during spring equinox. These rituals from the long past are dead, although there are some people here and there who try to revive them in our times. In modern days, some modern witches, they call themselves Wiccans, who practice witchcraft, they call it Wicca, celebrate Ostara, a spring fertility goddess based on the Anglo-Saxon goddess Estra, who may not have been an Anglo-Saxon goddess at all. So Ostara celebration was literally fabricated in our times by modern witches. There are other pagan celebrations done by other modern pagans as well, like the Stonehenge sunrise ceremony in England. And there may be even more of these popping up as people turn away from the Lord Jesus Christ. They just keep making up their own gods. What does this mean for Christians? For Christians, we should let the dead pagan gods stay dead. Let's not give credit to dead pagan gods by talking about them all the time during Jesus' resurrection celebration season and trying to associate them with Christian Easter because they are not related to Christian Easter. Isaiah 45 5 says clearly, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. So on Easter, let's focus on Jesus Christ, the resurrected Savior, and forget about everything else. Please subscribe and share this video. Watch this video next for the full history of Christian Easter and its meaning. Lots of interesting details. See you there.